Give me strength. Give me strength. In this my time of need. In this my time of me. I beg thee. I beg thee. To come to my aid. To come to my aid. I humbly ask thee. I humbly ask thee. To help me. To help me. Bear my trials. Bear my trials. With the honor. With the honor. As I remember you. As I remember you. In your earthly agony. In your earthly agony. Blessed John. Blessed John. Duty bound to God. Duty bound to God. Give me courage. Give me courage. You who left your family and friends. Who left families and friends. To enter into God's service. To enter into God's service. Devout and valiant. Devout and valiant. To uphold righteousness. To help all high reasons at the end, while being insulted and while, harmed, while being insulted and harmed by your enemies, by your enemies, holy Joan, holy Joan, daughter of God, daughter of God, give me fortitude, give me fortitude, help me to prevail in life and death, help me to prevail in life and death, over evil, over evil. While bearing my injuries, while bearing my injuries, with the dignity, with the dignity, you show the when wounded, you show the when wounded in the breast, in the breast, head and thigh, head and thigh, and heel, and heel. Pious Joan, Pious Joan, help me, help me. To be fearless. To be fearless. Abandoned by the king you yourself. Abandoned by the king you yourself. And crowned. And crowned. Captured and sold to the highest leader. Captured and sold to the highest leaders. You put your trust. You put your trust. In the king of heaven. In the king of heaven. To deliver you. To deliver you. Venerable Joan, Venerable Joan, help me to be unwavering in my faith. Help me to be unwavering in your faith. Beaten, beaten, bruised, bruised, questioned and accused, questioned and accused. We are denied. We are denied that which you love the most. That which you love most. Communion, communion, confession, confession. 
mass, mass and public prayer and public prayer heroic joan heroic joan help me uphold justice help me uphold justice imprisoned in prison neglected neglected threatened threatened and condemned and condemned sentenced to die sentenced to die as a heretic as a heretic the most cruel death the most cruel death to die by fire to die by fire and be raised and be raised up in heaven up in heaven glorious virgin glorious virgin please intercede for me please intercede for me we put our request where we need the courage to overcome any problem Hear this petition. Hear this petition. And my heart felt plea. And my heart felt plea. Pray for me. Pray for me. In this my time of need. In this my time of me. For I believe. For I believe. God will God deny will, you nothing. God will deny you nothing. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We can pray, we can do anything, cry even to God, but we are not able to do anything successfully without support. Even when we are sick, we can pray, but without the divine providence, divine support, we cannot. So our church teaches us how to pray. Now this is like this career. You can see somebody posting that is courageous. You can do anything. But you again you get surprised. Look at the story in the Bible of David and Goliath. Goliath had the, the power the, over David because of his size. And he even declared that this one I'm just going to cut and uh, give the flesh to the birds and the beasts and they eat. Now, who was the winner? David. David. We look at our country, Uganda. Those uh, who, who, who live uh, on their own. He doesn't post it. He said, This new here, even I can marry him, who is just beautiful like a woman who defeated the other. Yeah, really. That's why we are here to learn. Let us not post of ourselves. Let us not post of our power, our witchcraft. I don't know what when the weapons we have. So there are so many examples. If we just go on ordinary things in the world, and then you find the people getting surprised. A, a superpower to be defeated by a small country hmm? like Vietnam. A, a, American soldiers who died today, over 20,000 are not even accounted so much. Is only God. Only God who can make us overcome any problem we have. And this topic, courage, it is a virtue which we really need to ask God to give us. Because in the whole world, we are, we are lacking, we are lacking that courage to do something. Even in the, when the Israelites were liberated from Egypt and being led eh, after Moses, Joshua, it was God who told Joshua, be courageous, 
I will move ahead of you. And the word is our life. That is where we also learn that without God, uh -huh, they were not going to manage. Only they were fighting battles in the, the 40 years they were in the, in the wilderness. So you can pray, you can uh, go to us night, you can recite, I don't know how many rosaries. Imagine whenever Moses was raising the hands up in prayer, the Israelites were pushing the Amalekites back. A war, very serious war. They were, Israelites were scoring victories. But just a human being, when he got tired and lowered the hearts, the Amalekites were gaining victory, pushing the Israelites back. Hey! And yet it is God who is so. God wanted to show them that you must remain in prayer. Then they had to support. Moses with their hands up as they are praying and they were the one they were. So that is a lesson for us. We don't just uh, learn the, 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 the topic and then we don't get the examples. We shall see the verses in the Bibles, in the Bible, which encourage us. Like that girl, Joan of Ark, whose prayer we have very recited quite a long one. You can download it, the prayer to join the Joan of Ark, a young girl leading the French to victory until they just said she has witchcraft. Yeah, there is also witchcraft. As I told you, that those who, uh, uh, who lived the area, a woman here in Uganda, lady, her rebels right from Mulu until she reached Magamaga. People said, What? With our national army, just a girl called Lapena. She was using witchcraft and she was boasting of the witchcraft. She was saying, telling the soldiers that uh, after smearing them with the, the, the witchcraft oil, so we have to be careful. We have to be careful. oil. We must know which oil we are using. So they were smearing their chests with oil. And she was telling them that that oil, when you have smeared, even if the army, the government troops are coming and they shoot it, don't take a cover, that oil will repulse the bullets, and the people believe. And you will know some of us who go to witch doctors, we can believe such nonsense. Then, they were dying. Then she told them again. No, I'm telling you the secrets of who I said the soldier was involved. She told them that if the bullet gets you, do not even be worried that you have died. That when we capture Kampara, all those who have died will be disarray. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> we come here to compare where is this courage? Is it courage from the devil? And you know very well the devil is a loser, or it is courage from Jesus himself. And who and who is Jesus? This is the church. This church is Jesus. Jesus is the head, the church is the mystical body. So when you see him hanging on the cross like that. The head is him, just like anybody else can have a head. You cannot have a body without the head. So you cannot separate Jesus from the church. So the, 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 the body is called the mystical body. Otherwise, the word courage, you know, uh, 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 the words are being borrowed. Even the Misa is borrowed and uh, can be Latin, but it came from a French word. 
those who know French, me and sister they did that to me and four. Come, God, it means heart. That's how the English uh, uh, go to the word courage. Come, and that is when is you say, take heart. It means be courageous. Take heart. You will pass the interview. Be firm. If you take heart, be firm. So that's how we, the word uh, courage uh, came in. Take heart. Now, practically, where do we pr practice and uh, emulate those we have known? So there is a quote. Uh, I don't remember the saint. Is it Saint Padre Pio? Okay, let's go for the saint. The, 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 the saying is the quote. It says, if you have courage of male Magadari, I'm talking of a saint you know very well, her past life and then her new life. So the saint said, if you have courage of Magadale to commit sin, she was a sinner, she was a sinful woman. So if we have courage to commit sin, and that courage is the courage of Mary Magadale to commit sin, then we should also have the courage of Mary Magadale to repent. Very beautiful. She has got both. She had the courage to commit immorality, but she had the courage to go to Jesus. She did not hide that that is a prophet in me. I cannot go. He will even tell me my sins. No, she had the courage to go and kneel before Jesus, cry the tears. And the people who really knew that she was an immoral woman even condemned Jesus that this man claims to be a prophet and he does not even recognize the woman who is touching him that she is an immoral woman. He is a mufere. He is a dead. You see that? You see where we go wrong? We must have courage to go and repent. We must not dwell in the past sinful life because everybody is a sinner by nature. Right from the original parents when they committed the, the original sin, we inherited it. Now when we inherited that original sin, by the mass of God, he sent his son so that when we are baptized in his name, automatically the original sin is washed away. That's why we have to defend our, our Catholic Church of baptizing infants, while others say that a, a child must grow so that he has a conscience or she has a conscience, and then that's when he can or she can be baptized. Who told you that uh, all children who are born in the grow to, to adult? How many babies are always dying? So if we know that the original sin is washed away at, a pre, uh, at a baptism, and if you die without that original sin being washed away, then you cannot see God, you cannot have the vision of God. So that's why we baptize the babies. You don't have to wait most of these saints, the, who understood, the mothers who understood, they were baptized. But Padre Pio was baptized just two days after he was born. Original sin. So the other sins which come later are called actual sins, which we commit. Uh, when we know these are the commandments, these are the capital sins, and we, 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 we break them, still the merciful God is waiting for us to repent. 
to repent in the confession or that sacrament of confession. So, another philosopher called Aristotle, he said, you will never do anything in this world without courage. Most of these things, you can see them practically. When it is a battlefield, soldiers will be running away if they don't have courage. They run, they have no if even an animal, when you are driving on the road, whether it is a chicken, a bird, or it is a, even an insect, you immediately hear the, the, the sound of the car coming, it will run away. So who are you not to run away from the place which are coming? Courage. He said you will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. That's why those who are courageous are being awarded medals. Those who didn't leave, they died in their courage, but those who survived did not run away. Others, uh, uh, when I was retired in 2015, you we were assembled in Jinja. I really knew that joining the army people cried to enter, but the people who were the officers, men and women who were going home, one officer, a woman, was going home without her hand. I said, it could have been a bullet. She was also on the front line. She was going home with one hand. Another major was with the crutches. His leg had been amputated, also the bullet going home mm. with one leg. But you will find people crying. There was a rec recruitment they showed on the, on the TV. People cried the tears when they were being left out. <laughs> Even others were being told, please, we are recruiting ordinary soldiers. We, we don't need people with the then, of course, the cartoons are always making you far, far that the, the reply, of course, it was not true. That you mean with my PhD I cannot shoot the gun? No jokes! And by the way, if you don't know, Uganda is the second in the whole world with the highest percentage of population of the youth. And unfortunately, they are redundant. My son here is laughing, he is a youth. I don't know the future of the youth. Uganda is the second in the whole world. Me, I used to think in Africa. No. Google, you will get it. They are the facts. So these days, we get everything from our technology. So, we need courage to organize this youth for the future, otherwise we are sitting on a time bomb. Time bomb. Graduating every year, 10,000. No job market. Mm -mm. Let me not lament, after all, I'm now, I celebrated 68 years. Yesterday, I don't have long to to live, to watch what is going to happen. I don't know, you, you better plan for the youth, because universities are graduating children every year. And when I was going to get a, a photocopy of my uh, driving permit on NASA Road, there was a boy from until uh, here was my friend, so I went to where he works. I, I sat as they were photocopying my driving permit. Then he told me that, ah, why do you go to the taxi park? The, 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 the vehicles are just there, they are at the railway station there. The, 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 which go to a table. I said, hey, I didn't know. So he was escorted me. Then I just talked to him. I said, so this is the Nassau Road. 
which have been hearing about even we you it was our topic in, in Changwasi where people bring degrees. The boy passed in two after she he said, hey, you mean you saw? I said, no, I'm asking who you work at there. The boy laughed, he said, for us, especially those who want jobs are outside. They send us, the particulars, they want us to bring, and we bring the decrease. And now, we are going to have a real buffet, and those are the, the youth. Why not the real one, the who read for the degrees? No jobs. That is not the topic. Let's go to our courage. Even coming here to pray, it is courage. To have courage. Because some people have got family hindrances. But it will come here to pray. And your husband doesn't want you to come here. It is courage, and you cannot be abandoned as you need the prayer of and joy, joy and of act. The other retreat we had before this one, I was driving, and uh, me, I was, when, I, when I'm passing the big hotel, and I see people walking, I just you know these ones are going to, to further be for the retreat. So I saw the women with their children, I stopped. Hey, hey, can I, can I say that? Yeah, because they, they saw me there, that was the second day. So I greeted them, they sat, and said, hey, so how is the retreat going on? They said, ah, for us we are from Umba, and we are Muslims. I said, eh, hey. so you have been praying? They said, yes, since the retreat started. I said, won't you be beaten by your husband? She said, the woman said, for us, we know the truth is here. <laughs> she told me, sure, in God, I'm telling you the truth, I can swear in the name of Jesus. She said the truth is here. What we have learned here is the real truth. Whether they beat us, we don't mind. She said very well. So they, how they even respected our retreat, I watched them because I, I, I knew them. When we were now going to start the mass, that they were going to board the taxi. But they wanted to hear the word, the preachings, the deliverance. But the mass, the new act that is reserved for their candidates. They might be attracted and receive Holy Communion and bring it for the ministry to themselves. So that was courage, a real, real courage, like this young girl, Joan of Arc. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see some verses in the, in the, in the Bible which can give us the courage. And we know that, oh, if they had courage like this, then the same God who was telling them is the same God we are worshiping. So why should I not have courage? to do what I want to achieve, but with the hand of God in, in that, that venture I'm entering, whether it is business, whether it is academics, whether it is politics, whether eh, it needs courage. And that is where the devil takes advantage. Because now you are going to parliament, but how many contestants? There are many, and you want to go there instead of getting the courage from God. You go to the witch doctor, and the witch doctor gives you those fetishes, and you find yourself missing yourself. Okay, we have Joshua chapter 1, verse 6 to 9. Joshua chapter 1, verse 6 to 9. God himself talking to Joshua, saying that, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. 
Now this is to Joshua. But we are now the, the Joshua's of this time. So that same verse, Joshua chapter 1, verse 6 to 9, applies to us. We should really know that the way he, he moved with Joshua wherever he was going, and Joshua was scoring successes and led the people to the promised land, is the way he can lead us to success. That's why we, we always support the Bible verses in every preaching. It will, otherwise, this it can be a very topic. We can bring in psychology, we can bring in any science, what you do like this, you do like this, then you get courage, and uh, you know there is uh, also artificial courage where somebody has to go and dream what are the first in order to pick courage to go and kill his wife. Then when he is brought in the court, oh my lord, uh, forgive me, I was a drunk. And yet he had, he had even told people that I'm going to drink first. Then I will teach her the lesson. Courage of smoking the, 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 the drugs and the, Binding or doing or what to get the courage to fight in battles. If you read the book of Maccabees, that's how we the Catholics pray for the day. They found the soldiers who had died with the leases around their waist, this witchcraft. That's when Judah said, you know, the Prayers must be offered for them who have died with the dose. But it's there in the, the book of Maccabees. That's how we came to know that people who have died can be saved by our prayers. Because they were not courageous enough to believe in God and they believed in dose. Fetishes and then they die in a scene like that. So, courage. Another verse. It is Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. We must have courage. We must be encouraged. You know the English words now from courage they put encourage. Then also the opposite discourage. We should not be discouraged when we have our God. We should not be discouraged when Jesus died for us. Carried all our weaknesses, all our infirmities. Oh, then, why should we be discouraged? And the word of God is the one telling us. So, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and a love and a self-control. See? The spirit we have is not a, a spirit of timidity. Why? Because the apostles had not received the spirit yet and they were in the house enclosed, completely fearing, but immediately they received the Holy Spirit. Ah, this one was revealed, uh, fulfilled that God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and love and self control. They came out. They came out, and yet the people were there very many. They started preaching Jesus to them, and the people who were from different nations. Right. They were hearing in their language what the apostles were preaching. People said, what is this happening? Immediately they concluded that they are, ah, these people are drunk. Now, <laughs> you see how oh, people can misunderstand now the power of the Holy Spirit that they are drunk. Don't be surprised when you are also labeled 
drunk when you are maybe charismatic singing, war or talking near in the tongues, they say, ah, these people are drunk. No, once you know you are not drunk, Peter told them that uh, it is just nine o'clock in the morning. Where do you expect them to have got it from? You see? So people who drink in the morning from a long time ago, people know that <coughs> drinking is in the evening. <coughs> so some of us were drinking in the morning. At the breakfast, we are drunk. Lunch time, we are drinking. In the evening, we are only talking up. They, no, not talking up. They say wash down. When you are drinking, you are now washing down. Then you start again in ordering that one for the road. I don't know where you get all those terms, that one for the road. Again, it becomes another one for the road. Continuous like that. Okay, another bus. We must get out when we have a carriage here. We should not fear anybody, as long as we are with our God. This is First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Says, "Be on your guard. Stand firm in faith. Be courageous. Be strong." You see. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. It is an encouragement. The word of God is for teaching, for rebuke, for guiding. The word of God is our life, our, our, our food. As we eat food to get energy, the word of God is food to give us courage to achieve our goals as long as they are in the line of God. Otherwise, this is said, like the one we are celebrating today, St. Thomas. He died in India. He's the patron saint of India. All the saints had the courage to go and die as long as they are dying for Jesus. Matthew died in Ethiopia. Yeah, no. According to legends, some, some of them uh, could not be confirmed. But, they had the courage because of the teaching of Jesus, which we are now learning. He said, telling them that I'm sending you like sheep among wolves. They will beat you up, they will mock you, they will arrest you, they will imprison you, and they will even kill you. But I am with you up to the end of age. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. He said, I'm with you. Up to the end of, but now I'm being killed. Then how can you be with me up to the end of age? Yes, because he added that the one who tries to save his life will lose it, but the one who loses his life for my sake will gain it. Yes. So now they had the courage about gaining the eternal life. That's why that girl, Joan of Arc, she was just. Roasted up like that. Saint Agnes was buried naked, a young girl, 15 years. Naked. So the people who had the courage, the, the, the evil courage to look at the naked, the naked girl, they became blind. Yes, God must make you blind. They became blind. Okay, another verse. Psalm 27, verse 14. Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. You see, when I have a topic, I have to pick those verses which must be relevant to the topic. You can see, the psalm is encouraging us. Wait for the Lord. But we are not patient. We are supposed to wait for the law. Be strong. Yes, all of us have got problems. But be strong in those problems. 
don't commit suicide. Then let your heart take courage. Why you take courage? Because you have already offered your prayers to the one who gives the courage. Take that courage, that spirit of power. Then Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 14. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 14. Can your courage endure, or can your hands be strong? You see, it is right from Old Testament up to New Testament. The word courage is coming to us. Then Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 12. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 12. Be of good courage, and let us be courageous for our people, and for cities of our God. And may the Lord do what seems good to him. Yeah. I'm reading that once you have written the, the, the verse, you can go home and reflect on it. And you will find that you are really full of courage. Even if somebody else comes to tell you that there is a witch doctor who can give you this charm and then you get that job or you will produce twins. Yeah, by the way, you will go to the witch doctor and you will produce twins. But those twins will be dedicated to the devil. And then you are the same person who will be running here for counseling and yet you dedicated your twins to the devil. Second verse, Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 8. The end of something is better than its beginning. Patience is better than pride. Yeah. Very, 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 very uh, logical. Uh, we know Ecclesiastes is just full of wisdom and uh, it encourages us. You know what Solomon went through. So St. Francis does say we should have a cup of understanding, a barrel of love, and an ocean of patience. All of us are too impatient. And nobody should be blamed because of the fear, of the human fear. When you really look at the impossible, a woman conceiving at nine, nine years, you say, does science even accept that? I was giving a little to some women going for mass in the morning. Then one told us when we talk spiritual things that when they were moving, a woman had lost it, uh, her son. So she was crying, my son, but he's being a Catholic, they were comforting her. That please, even Mary lost me, her son. She said, no, 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 no. At least the one of Mary, after three days, he resurrected. <laughs> Mine is not going to come back here. <laughs> And they, they say, she, she said the whole room they started laughing because she was crying oh, in Uganda. Oh, Maria Yazuka, Yazuki, Yazukira. Oh, Maria Yazuka, oh, I'm not going to be so good. I'm feeling the dead of a man who won one. They then they started laughing when she said the one of them that is resurrected. So, John chapter 16, verse 33. In me you may have peace, the world will have, the world will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. That is Jesus himself telling us in John chapter 16, verse 33. Then Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. 
You know, these are supposed to be our mottos, which we can even put in, in our sitting room. Because if you know, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Yes. It becomes your motto of encouragement. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. Put on the armor of God. We are not fighting against forces of flesh and blood, but the forces of, of spiritual evil. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. Then 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. God will not allow you to be tempted between your capacity. See that? 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. God is not in so merciless that he will allow you to perish in the temptation. No, he is allowing you to be tempted within your capacity. Like a child who is carrying a, a jerkin of water, you cannot give a 60 year old child a 20 liter jerkin of water. No, she, you will put the one of five or three liters, this one of cooking oil. Then you will find her struggling, and the mother will be watching, and then she will carry the water because it is within her capacity. But some of us who grew up under the stepmothers, the stepmother gave me a very big tea. Now I was not very willing to bring it down. My father was watching at night, he wanted to kill her. He said, You, you made my child to carry water in that big tin, and you could not even remove it from. For from uh, his head by darkness to light. Everything I talk, but we buried her last week. I'm praying for her if she's at all in Bogota. First uh, Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. God will not, uh, that's the one we have just finished. Uh, Psalm 27, verse 1. Psalm 27, verse 1. He says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Good. 27 1. Not 47 1. Psalm 56, verse 3 to 4. When I am afraid, I put my trust in God. Finish. Because we are supposed to be afraid as human beings. But we are being told in Psalm 56. Verse 3 to 4 that when I am afraid, I put my trust in God. And as Psalm, I mean, Matthew chapter 14, verse 29, Jesus said to Peter, Come, and Peter got out of the boat and walked on water to Jesus. But when he looked down, he was seeking, I'm very better. He had to lift him. So, we learn, we learn also from Matthew 14 to 29. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, then who can be against us? Yes, that is our motto. If God is for us, who else is greater than God, is stronger than God? Romans 8, 31. Matthew 10, 28. Do not fear those who kill the body and, kill the, and cannot kill the soul. But fear the one who can kill both, both the, the who can kill both, and that is it. Ah, you will get it done. 
so let us be courageous, whether they mock us, whether they refuse to give us promotions, because we are putting on a scapula, these are temporal promotions, the real promotion is awaiting us in heaven. We must be courageous. Don't think when somebody has laid you off from the job, he has laid you off from going to heaven. Instead, he has brought you nearer to heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.